Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. In today's episode, we're gonna continue on through this cave. We just saved Nebby from, I guess, uh, really not anybody. They weren't trying to be all that mean. The uh, two people we saved them from, you have to watch the last episode if you wanna know who. But uh, we got Nebby back. And are we just being teleported? I guess so. I don't know if we should go back in that cave or not, but oh, Yoon. Pew. Thank you, Zebra. It's almost like Nebby is intentionally going to these places to lead us there. You know, we wouldn't have had that encounter with Tapu Koko or those two without our him. I'm not sure. And, and I should thank Tora Cat too. Here, let me at least do this. Are you gonna heal us? Definitely. Poor, you don't even help Poke or you know give a mention to Pokey Peck. He got fainted in that encounter. You know, I read something interesting in a book once. It seemed the Pokemon called Oricorio changes appearance by feeding on the nectar from different types of flowers. It's not actually evolving, but undergoing some so-called form change, like a photosynthesis. Isn't that interesting? I thought it was anyway. Phew, that's interesting. So it can change into different things. Um, back in the bag, please, Nebby. I know there aren't many people around to see you here, but that's hardly an excuse. And I guess we should be going now. The professor will probably be worried after the way we just disappeared on him. Okay, well, there we go. Continuing throughout three seems to be working out pretty well. Hey, Zebra, oh, and Lily's with you too. What are you up to, Hound? I just finished up my trial. <laughs> hey, Zebra, I wanna see if I really learned anything from my trial. Let me battle you again. Well, we didn't just heal, so that's fine. So, we're getting a rematch with Hal, seeing if he's anywhere up to snuff with us. He has a grass flying type, so that should be weak to our flying type against Pokemon Trainer Hound. Let's see what we can do. You say not Rowlet? I'm good because I have Poke Pack. We're good, we're good. Okay, Poke Pack, do something. I definitely need to train up Be Beardy Bill soon. But at the same time, I'm really still trying to get comfortable with what he's gonna be strong against. I need to look up what poison types are strong against. By the way, we're gonna use our super effective flying moves. Good. Ooh, that's almost a one hit takedown. Oh, I should have done the pluck. I could have stole your berry. Oh, well. <laughs> I uh, made a very big mistake. It took me a while to think of the pun. Um, let's go ahead and do another Peck thing, because I'm pretty sure Peck does more damage anyways. Obviously something like Pluck is going to do less damage, because that sort of has like an extra thing added to it, but maybe I'm totally wrong and Pluck is like super overpowered. Um, we gain experience points. Noibu got the level 13, fantastic. Um, you wanna learn Bite. Isn't that a dark type move? Let's check this out. I think Bar Bike is dark. We can put that over something. I think we'll put it over the Absorb. And I mean, we don't have any other grass type moves. We'll put it over in, what is supersonic? Supersonic, the user generates odd sound waves from his body that confuse the target. That's pretty good. And there's tackle. Who needs tackle when we can have bite? So let's forget that move. Man, dragon type Pokemon are really weird. They can learn like anything. All right, the Noibu learned bite over uh, tackle. All right, you're gonna send out Pikachu. Ooh, I definitely wanna change my Pokemon as well. So I might have to look that up really quickly, but in the meantime, Charcot. There's some typings I still need to learn, like what is poison good against, and what is lightning weak to? Not water, right? Lightning is strong against water. Okay, well, Pikachu, you're so cute. I want a Pikachu, where do you get Pikachu at? I mean, I think some people are letting me know that I can find some other Pokemon in some other places, so I definitely need to start looking for that, but everything here is effective. None of it's super effective or not very effective or, you know, no effect or anything. Oh, Pikachu's gonna use static, so we just got paralyzed, great. Um, but we're still attacking for a second punch. Hit two times, that was very good. Okay, so what, ooh. Oh, that didn't do very much. Okay, Charco, go back in. So while this is happening, I might quickly Google uh, Pokemon po poison type strengths and see what happens. Um, so let's see, uh, for right now, we're winning our battle against uh, Pikachu, which is fantastic. But, um, so poison types are twice as good against bug and grass. So what we already have with flying and fire, um, they're twice as defensive against ground, bug, and psychic though, which we don't really have a good defense against ground, I don't think, so that's pretty good. Charcoal grew to level 19, which is great. Charcoal wants to learn to move Roar. Let me figure out what Roar is then. Forget a move so I can see what Roar is. Roar is a normal type move that allows the target if the target is scared off and a different Pokemon is, oh, I don't really want that. Um, This ends a battle against a single Pokemon. We're gonna give up on learning that move. I don't really think it's useful for somebody like uh, Charco. 
Okay. Well, everybody else gained some experience. You're gonna be sending out Noibat. Hey, okay. So, oh, maybe I should throw out my Noibat. Let's see if it's up to stuff. It's level 13 now. Switch. Cause I, I forget what's, like I think the only thing dragon type is weak against is other dragon types, right? It's definitely the only thing it's strong against. Well, it's also, I think it's also weak against fairy types maybe. I can't remember, it's so confusing. It's not confusing, it just takes time to learn. Um, But I don't have any dragon type moves is the thing. So was that really necessarily a good idea? I don't think so. Um, You're gonna use absorb, which is, it's gonna help. Oh no, actually it's not. So hey, why'd you do that? I don't know, you're silly. Either way, we're just gonna keep using this flying move then. Or maybe we should use some bite because it might make them flinch. But for right now, this is working plenty fine. I don't know why I'm doing this with Noibat then. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still learning what the best decision is. Sometimes we became confused, but hopefully we can still land an attack because all we need to do is land one more attack. Oh, we're confused. Noi Noibat hurt himself in confusion. Okay, you're gonna use, why do you keep trying to use Absorb for one HP? Dude, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna help you. Okay, and fight, dark, bite. Come on, no, 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 no. Oh, confusion is one of the worst status elements in my opinion. It is just awful to deal with. Okay, so you're gonna use it, but it doesn't matter because it keeps using absorb for one HP at a time. It ain't gonna save you when I land this bite. That's for sure, if, it ever, if I ever will. Oh my gosh, this is why it's awful. Oh wait, no, I did it, okay, cool. Oh, come on. Oh, you flinched? Good, that's what you deserve. The game's getting so laggy. But we still buy it a bit. Okay, that's good. I'll definitely care for the Noibat here. This will be our first time caring for Noibat, so I might go ahead and include it in the video. But uh, cool, we did it. We defeated Pokemon Trainer Hound. Um, ha, oh man, I wanted to show off my Pokemon best side more. You see 240 for winning, which is great. Okay, so um, let's see. Um, oh no, oh, well, it looks like we can take care of multiple Pokemon. Okay, cool. Okay, so first we'll take care of uh, you here. How do we take care of paralyzation? I think with the same like medicine. We'll have to see. It's it's definitely making the noise as if it's working. So right now, Charco, we're gonna unparalyze you, buddy. Don't don't you worry. You're all taken care of, and we'll get you a bean or two. What do you got here? You got some blue beans. He likes the blue beans, doesn't it? Oh, you're eating it. You're eating it. Oh, you like that, don't you? Yeah, you're so happy. Okay, let's switch Pokemon because if I can cure. Um, what's your name's uh, confusion? And if you are still confused, um, hi, you're adorable. Oh, can I not give you things? Oh no, I can. Well, I, I can't cure anything because you don't have anything to cure. But sure, I'll give you a bean. You're so up close. You're adorable. Yum yum yum. Now there's only a limit of how many beans they can have. But since he doesn't have any, now I can give him plenty. Let's give him a blue bean because I have a lot of those. And we do get rare candies for giving our Pokemon lots of beans, which is cool because I'm eventually gonna need rare candies when our Pokemon are like level 60 or 70 or 80 where it takes forever to level them up. That's where it's gonna be super duper helpful. Another thing I learned about dragon types is that they take forever to evolve. Like I, like I said, I, I didn't look at the actual evolution of this guy because I didn't wanna like spoil myself, but I did find out he, he evolves at level like 40 something. Like holy cow, that's a, that's a while from now. So you and, you and me both beat that totem Pokemon, huh Zebron? Looks like we're getting pretty strong. And I'm not stopping now. I'm gonna use this momentum to be my old grams too. Oh yeah, you're the Kahuna Hala. Hey there, Zebra. Knew I could count on you. Yeah. And, and how? Don't leave him out of here. Thanks for tra tracking Lily down for me. What's this then? How you finished your first trial tune? I bet you used some style and moves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All thanks to Rowan. Hala's probably rubbing his hands together in glee right about now. Oh yeah. What do you mean? It's all part of the trials, yeah? After you clear one island's trials, you gotta battle that island's kahuna. Oh, and then we battle the kahuna, then we move to the next island, and then I can get rock rough from the event. Cool. Taking on the island kahuna in a battle is called the Grand Trial. For someone like me who's researching Pokemon moves, nothing could be better than the chance to see some more fierce Pokemon battles. Woo! I don't know about fierce. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, back to Iki Town. Catch the tail that tailwind and blast on Route 3. Oh, Tailwind, interesting. I don't know if I've battled everyone on Route 3 so far, but if I have, I can learn Roost, but um, I don't really want Roost, so maybe I shouldn't even bother. It's just a waste of time, I'm not sure. Either way, 
It looks like there's something sneaking on behind here. Ooh, something I can't quite get, but what about you? Seeing kids like you journeying together with your Pokemon really soothes my soul. Thank you. I'll get I think I'll give you something. Oh yeah? <laughs> It'd be funny if he was like, never mind. We got a soothe bell. <laughs> like he empties his pockets, he realizes it doesn't actually have anything. A Pokemon will feel even friendlier towards you if you give it as that soothe bell to hold. It's clear chiming sound is so pleasant. Cool. And then we can't quite get over here because we don't have rock smash. Wait! Well, we do have rock smash. A sturdy looking rock, maybe powerful. Could it? Couldn't Pokepack break it? He has rock smash. Maybe it's a different type of move. Maybe there's like, I think there's a rock type move that breaks those rocks. Weird, I know, but hey, Pokemon is very weird. Either way, hello, sir. How are you? No. Oh. oh, you're a trial goer? I did my own island challenge once long ago. Hey, why don't you come here with me for a moment? Oh my. Um. Oh, hey. It's a rainbow. Um. Cool. That's just the light reflecting off the water, nothing crazy. Yeah, you're, you're really happy about that. When you see a rainbow like this, it's a good idea to pray that your journey will go well. It will bring you good fortune. Did my voice change? I think my voice changed. It's because I love rainbows. Okay, <laughs> that was it. This isn't the typical sort of rainbow, uh, like the ones you'll see uh, uh, with when the rain lifts, uh, but I think it'll, be, it'll still be effective. I'll be sure to offer up a prayer on this rainbow for your success on this challenge, on the island challenge. Ooh, can I take a photo of it or something? No? Okay, I'm gonna battle you then. I can sneak behind you and not battle you, which I find funny. I'll draw out the power of my po of my partner, Growlithe, by giving it an item to hold. Okay, so we have Growlithe to go against here. Another dog type Pokemon. Now we have gone against somebody with Growlithe before, I think, or saw somebody with Growlithe. I can't quite remember, maybe Kukui has a uh, Growlithe. So just so many dogs, so many birds, I love it. All right, go Poke Pack. And we're gonna just do our normal stuff, I think. I mean, we you are a fire type, so the flying probably won't be super crazy. We could go ahead and just do Breakneck Blitz and see how this turns out. Okay, do our cool dance, the zebra dance. It's not exactly, but hey, I'm trying. Okay. So let's see how much damage this does. Hopefully enough to get rid of like half of your health, that'd be preferred. And then maybe we'll try more of that fighting move. Wow, we are moving quick. I just, I, I find it so funny. I'll never be able to take this seriously, but boom, right in your face. Ooh, that hurt, now didn't it? And you're just gonna do Ember, which is gonna hurt, but never, not gonna do anything crazy. Then we'll just go ahead and do Pluck. If you have a berry, we'll snag it, and if not, should be enough to take you out. Fantastic, so you're done for, kid. I'm sorry, 144 experience is not enough for a uh, Pokepike, but is it enough for Chan? Which is just sort of silly because I'm not gonna be using Chan. So I really hope that experience doesn't split up between people. Like the less Pokemon we have, the more experience they will get for the shared experience, I'm not really sure. Either way, I think we'll replace that over Tackle. Because once again, why, why, why would he need Tackle? But um, I'm probably gonna put Cha away very soon. Um, I would like to find a water or electric type. That would be really good. But um, in the meantime, I got other things to do. I mean, of course, whenever I find tall grass, I try to find at least a couple Pokemon in it. I found a super potion. What's interesting is that when I was trying to refine the old Pokemon I got when my save got cleared, I ended up finding this like totally different Pokemon. I mean, I tried to capture some that were interesting, but I didn't get too lucky with it. Most of them were just like, they were different, but they weren't like must haves. Like at Lowland Meowth, I ran into a lot of all of a sudden, which I didn't run into a single one of those before. Speaking of which, now we're only getting Spear Run. Which is like, cool, maybe I'll run around this area a bit more, try to find other Pokemon. But um, for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and do something about you. Maybe I'll just do a... Fighting isn't good against Bird, is it? It's just effective, it's not super effective. It tells me right there. All right, well, it did some decent damage. Maybe I could uh, do the pluck. Or, uh, you're not gonna have anything, are you? Usually wild Pokemon don't have berries and stuff. So maybe I should just go ahead and do pack and find out. And boom. And you're done for, cool. That was easy. I don't really need a Spiro, so I'm not really on the edge of trying to capture you. Level 18 for Poke Pack. Maybe this will be our opportunity to try to level up uh, Beardy Bill. So there's some experience here there, which is great. But level 18 is plenty powerful for now, I think. So we'll go to our Pokemon. 
and I'm gonna switch from Pokey Pack to Beardy Bill. So, switch like this to that. I mean, and Charco is even more powerful, level 19. Be cool to get everybody to level 20. I don't know if I should be doing some off screen, off camera stuff. There's a Pokemon feeding on berries and it leaped out at you, oh my. Hopefully it's not super powerful. The most powerful berry Pokemon. Is this gonna be the, the crab? Oh yes it is, the crab brawler for brawler. This guy is weird. He has like boxing glove little snippers. I don't even know if I want this guy even if he is a water Pokemon. Okay, what'll Beardy Bill do? He's going to um, try some acid spray. We haven't tried this move yet. Oh my, ooh, ooh, that did not hurt. <laughs> um, that's one of the things, the Beardy Bill has like so much defense, it's crazy. So that does do damage and it does lower his special defense. Now I need to learn more about special attack and defense. I don't really know too much about that, but maybe poison is a special defense kind of thing and maybe it's like a special kind of damage. So that makes sense. Maybe now that we've lowered his special defense, things like poison will do more damage maybe? I think that might mean, or might be what it means, but for right now we're gonna go ahead and bite you. Use a dark move on you, sure why not? You're gonna use Rock Smash again, which does no damage. Okay, that did a lot more that time. It was a critical hit, holy cow. Okay, now I'm a little bit more scared. Ooh, that hurts you then. Oh, actually, that's not very effective. <laughs> but we'll get the poison on you. Maybe I'll just go ahead and use the Acid Spray again then and hope, hope, hope you do not get another. I mean, maybe I should be capturing you right now. Oh, maybe I should have been capturing you. Maybe I'll miss. Or maybe this won't do enough damage to take you out. We'll have to see. Oh, not to say, okay. Well, maybe I'll go ahead into the uh, Pokedex and try to find out what kind of Pokemon you were. I don't think I'd want you, but hey, you never know. You only live once, right? I mean, I can find another Crab Brawler, so I don't think that statement really goes very far here, but we get a Citrus Berry, and then I'm sure we're gonna get more. Yeah, it's a huge pile of berries. We gotta find we find a Pecha Berry, or maybe Pekka, and then a Chesto Berry, and then there's still more. Uh, we found another Pekka Berry, cool. Okay, so pick up this Pokeball here. Nest bomb, cool. And then if we go to our Pokédex, let's figure this out really quickly. A Lola Pokemon, and where am I gonna find this dude? We got a long list of Pokemon we could look through, so maybe I should just look up his name, but I feel like we'll, we could find it if we go down far enough, right? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, here he is. Okay, Crab Brawler. He's a fighting, okay, well, I really don't need that then. Cause I already have a fighting type. I'm just looking for a water type. If I could find one, that'd be great. Like we're by the ocean, you think I'd be finding nothing but. I mean, all I've found so far is a wingle, which I just like, I don't want too many cross types. If we could find like just a water type or maybe like a water or something else. Oh, hey, a manky. Another fighting type, not too worried about it, but I know this one. This one's a very old Pokemon. I know he's in fire red, which also means he's in the ritual red, I think. Okay, so I'll fight you, sure. And we'll, we'll ask and spray in. We'll get done what we need to get done. I don't know what's good against fighting either. Um, I know what fighting's good against. I know he's, you know, fighting's good against uh, normal and rock type. Um, his special defense harshly found, and it did a fair amount of damage, which is great. Use focus energy, which I don't think is mean, meaning you're gonna attack this turn, but next turn he's getting pumped, which means he's gonna hit really hard next turn. Oh, but that's gonna be enough to take you out. So sorry. But it seems like that does a lot of damage, of course, because his special defense is lowered. So level 16 now. Already getting some good levels on uh, Beardy Bill here. I love it. And anybody else? Ooh, Noibu. Good, good, good. Not too far behind. It's definitely, I think Noibu is definitely starting to fall behind, but level 14 ain't bad. Let's try to find one more battle in this grass before we move on. Because we're finding new Pokemon, which is always fun and exciting. But if I could just find a water type. Nope. Okay, that's just Mankey again. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of Mankey and I'll be right back. Okay, so I don't wanna damage my Pokemon too much up. Maybe at this point, I'll start looking up Pokemon that I like that are water type. Are you a trainer or you're not? Hello, you're local, aren't you? I've got a favor to add. I want to ask someone like you. Please, you've gotta help me. All right. Oh, thanks, kid. That's the Lola Spirit. You're all so nice here. I'm actually here on my honeymoon and my beautiful bride has completely fallen for this Pokemon. You called Sable, Sableye, Sabley? I've heard that Sabaline or Sab, Sableye, Sableye, G get along with Carbink, which live in Ten Carat Hill. Could you catch a Sableye for me in Ten Carat Hill? 
If you do, I can check you out its information in your decks and then I can go catch one for myself. I'll even pay you for your hassle. Think of it as a bit of a part-time work, okay? Um, well, if I find one, I'll certainly check it out. It sounds like it could be a cool Pokemon. But I think that's Route 3 done. Yeah, we're back on, oh wow, yeah, we totally looped around now. Oh, now I totally understand. Rockruff is really a friendly Pokemon. You should try playing with it a bit too. And while he's sleeping right now, I don't wanna bother him. Anyways, we're going back up this way. I've already dealt with all these trainers. Nothing to sweat here. Okay, so we're going back up here. Hi, how are you guys? I'm looking forward to seeing what moves you you and your Pokemon will pour, in, uh, pour your soul into. Now that you've gone and cleared your first trial, Zebra. It's true, I'm not a trainer, so I'm not sure I really understand how hard it must have been, but even I think it's a great achievement. Pew. The Benamela Kahuna is strong, cousin. He's a trainer who can use fighting type Pokemon to the fullest, yeah. Might not be a bad idea to work on those flying or psychic type moves. Okay, so flying is good against fighting? Okay, good. I got that. So I'm not really entirely ready to fight the Kahuna just yet. Kahuna Hala. Even just looking at him, you could tell how strong he's gotta be. So we'll deal with that in a moment. There's only one bit of advice I can give you for Hollow's Grand Trial. Give it to all, give it all you have in both body and spirit. Okay, we'll do that momentarily. Just having Pokemon at your side makes you feel all warm inside, doesn't it? Eating dinner together, playing together, eat, enjoy spending time together. It's pure happiness. And then, how about you? The tall grass is like a treasure trove, full of all kinds of Pokemon just waiting to be found. Nobody, oh, is that a sticker? Oh, that is a sticker, so there are, oh, I can't get to it though, because I don't have a smash. Interesting, my little brother is always coming up home, co or coming home covered in mud, just like in his, just like his Pokemon, I can't read. The two of them are more alike than he and I are. So I'm actually looking around for a place to heal up. I think I'm about to find it. I think there is a place down here. It's super confusing for me sir, for some reason. But either way, um, so we're back on uh, Route 1, Halloween outskirts, which is cool, not really too worried about that. But a lot of you did let me know that on Route 1, this is where you can actually find um, a Pichu, which is a lightning type Pokemon that I would really like, I think. I mean, if I if I look up Pichu, I think it's the one I'm thinking about, but we're healing up all of our Pokemon right now, which is what we really, really need. To, yeah, Pichu is the one I was thinking about. I think Pichu actually eventually evolves into Pikachu, which would be great, so if I could find that, I think that'd be awesome, because Pikachu is really awesome, and it's a lightning type like I wanted, so. I'm gonna try to look around and maybe that's how we'll spend the remainder of today's episode. I think this house right here is our house. Or maybe, no, I think it's our house. I don't know. Either way, we'll just sort of dig around for now. We'll look in the patches of grass. There's actually tons of Pokemon I guess you can find on Route 1. I did a little Google search to reconfirm because I, you know, I guess some comments said that, but I didn't want to, you know, assume. So I just sort of looked it up really quickly. Either way, we got a Caterpie, which is cute, but we've ran into you before. Everything here is super duper low level though, so it's like one of those things where it might take me a little while to find it, but that's why I have a ton of nest balls and great balls and stuff that should definitely help me with that. So I'm not so worried about it. So hopefully things will just simply work. But um, I'll just keep looking grass patches. I don't know if there's like, I tried looking that up too, but I couldn't find anything specifically that says like, oh, if you go in this grass patch, you have a higher chance of finding this one than that one. I think it's just all the same route. I'm not sure, really, though. Either way, here we find another young goose. Great. So I'm not finding too much um, luck here. And I think that maybe it's rarer than other Pokemon. I'm gonna try one more time, and if I don't find it, that's fine. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the Kahuna Hala battle in today's episode. I guess there hasn't been too much other crazy stuff happening in this episode, so it won't be that hard to include it, but it'll just take me some time. I'm guessing it's gonna be rare, so I'll try to find exactly where I can find it and just keep trying until I find it, and then when I do, I'll catch it, and then it'll be a part of the next episode. So that'll be our Pikachu, or Pichu, or whatever. Um, for now, though, you're not a Pikachu, sorry. Maybe you wish you weren't. Maybe if you try hard enough, you'll become very similar to Pikachu, I don't know. But uh, we've gained next to no experience because all these guys are level two. I mean, obviously I wouldn't be able to use the Pichu right away because it would probably be very, very low leveled, but that's definitely still something I want to do. For now though, let's just go ahead and take on Kahuna Halan. Well, what's the worst that can happen, right? Mr. Kahuna! Uh, congratulations on clearing your trial in the Verdan Cavern. Good work. I suppose you are here to battle the Kahuna? You think you and Grimer are ready for me, Zebra? Definitely. Uh, maybe not Grimer exactly. I have been waiting for this. Oh yeah? Cool. So let's battle you. I might, maybe wanted to put Pokepec out first, but ooh. 
Oh, ho! I've been expecting you. Allow me to properly greet the young adventurers embarking on their island challenge. I am Halan, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. My voice might be slightly different, I forget how it goes. Shall we begin? The final trial here on Mele Mele Island will be a Pokemon battle against me, the Kahuna. It is known as a grand trial. Well, Zebra, you have been entrusted with the sparkling stone by Tapu Kokum. Now show me you and your partner Grimern and your team's full power. Old Hala here will also be going all out. Let the grand trial begin. Oh my, so we gonna get beat up or what? I have no clue. Wow, look at you. You get your own fancy backdrop. You're challenged by Island Kahuna Hala. Island Kahuna Hala sent out Machop. Man, this is intimidating. But you do have a fighting type right away at this point. If I beardy build out, beardy build out. I'm gonna go ahead and just make him poison wall. He's only level 15 too. I mean, I'm sure they're gonna get more and more uh, intimidating as we go on here. But we want to get a bird type out because the, or the flying type seems to be what works. Either way, we'll get you poison. That'll be a decent start. Uh, the opposing Machop was uh, poisoned. Oh, revenge! What is this? Oof! Ooh! That hurts. We're gonna get poisoned a little bit. We're just gonna lower your special defense. Even if Beardy Bill gets taken out here, I think it's the best idea. Um. Oh, a full heal already? Fine, fine, fine. Okay, well luckily, if not anything else, we made him waste a full heal. And it was a critical hit, cool. So your special defense is lowered. I'm gonna go ahead and do another acid spray. You're going to do focus energy, so you're not gonna attack this turn, which is fine with me. I just wish that uh, uh, Beardy Bill here attacked first, but we're gonna get you very low on health already. Just gonna lower your special defense again. We're gonna poison you, and then I'm going to probably get taken out and then switch to a different Pokemon. So there's our poison. It's okay, that, that actually worked. Are you not gonna attack this turn either? Um, poisoned. Okay, here's his revenge. He's gonna take our poor Beardy Bill out, right? Oh, poor Beardy Bill. Didn't stand a chance, did you? Okay, oh, but you get poisoned. Oh, that does a decent little chunk of damage. So we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and get Pokepack out. Switch to you. Just a little more, hang in there, Pokepack. You got this, buddy. Okay, so who's gonna attack first? I guess it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna go ahead and do a peck really quickly. Hala used a super potion, that's fine, because I'm actually gonna have the uh, turn advantage to be able to attack twice now, I think. Wow, all the way up to full, but you're still poisoned. And I'm gonna be able to knock that out all the way back down. There you go, there's that poison. Come on, a little bit more. I think I get to attack first again, right? Yep, here we go, you're, you're done for then, see ya. Okay, so there's Machop down. You got two more Pokemon to go though, and we've already, we're both out one Pokemon. 184 experience with that is a ton. Aunga Hunahana is about to send out Makuhita. I don't know Makuhita too much, so I think we'll keep with what we have. Makuhita is, whoa, look at you. Are you electric type? I sure hope not, you sort of look like Pikachu. Um, for right now we use, we'll use Pluck. Ready, use Fake Out. Ooh, ooh. Flinch and couldn't move, oh no. Ooh, that's not good, that's not a good start at all. Luckily it doesn't do too much damage, we're gonna use Pluck, so that if you do have anything. Oh my gosh, the one hit KO though, Makuhita has fainted. Sorry, you ain't quite Pikachu. Okay, this music's really good too. Oh, Alan Kahunahana has sent out Crab Brawler. No, we're gonna keep with what we have and finish you off, because you're only a fighting type. You are not a fighting water type. Then I, well, I still wouldn't be very worried. But we're super effective against you, so we might as well. Let's use Pluck again, because Pluck just seems to do a lot of damage. Okay, super effective. Whoa, what in the world is this? Uh, oh, you're using Z-Power. The opposing Crab Brawler surrounded itself with Z-Power. The opposing Crab Brawler unleashed its full Z-Force, all out pummeling, but it's not gonna be very effective because it's, you know, the typing. So is this going to take out poor Pokepack? Oh no! Wow, holy cow, it almost did! You left the, we broke a mountain. Come on, if we can just attack first, we're fine, we win. Yes, yes, okay, we just won. Boom, sorry there, Hala, we win. I mean, we would have won anyway, but still, I'm glad to see we did it without too much of a problem. We'll definitely care for our Pokemon, but we get a ton of experience, nobody got to level up. Whoa, well played. You gain $2,560 for winning. Okay, let me get take care of our precious Pokemon. Okay, so he's laughing it up. He's having a good time. Hmm. 
The results come as no surprise to me. What a fine trainer and what fine Pokemon, Dune. Tapu Koko Ko! What, what's with the extra Ko? Oh no, that was the Tapu Koko saying. I thought that was Hala just screaming. Oh, and our mighty Tapu Koko agrees. Hmm. Perhaps Tapu Koko is hoping that a day might come when you will grow strong enough to battle it as well. I'm sure that day will happen pretty soon. Except the Z Crystal it allows trainers to share their power with their partner Pokemon. Cool, so we got another Z Crystal. What is this one gonna be for? Probably for fighting type, which might be decent for now on um Charcum. All right, yeah. Grand trial complete. All right. So there we go. Good stuff. And uh, yeah, let's see what kind of a uh, Pokemon crystal this is. Z crystal. You obtain Phytinium Z. Yes, it's definitely for fighting type. Cool. Observe Zebra. If you wish to use the fighting type Z power, move your arms like this, then bend your hips like this and pose. Ooh. He's got them hips all right. Whoa! Ooh! It's all about that hip. You're right. Now then, Zebron, with this victory, you have cleared all of the trials of Melee Melee Island, the first of Alola's islands. The Melee Melee stamp is proof of your accomplishments. With it, Pokemon up to level 35, even those you received in a trade, will obey you. The moon in the daytime, the sun at night. Now to see if you can pour your heart into something that cannot be seen, but it is very much real. As you continue on your island challenge, consider what makes up the people and Pokemon that you meet, both what you can see and what you cannot. You will surely meet Tapu Koko again someday. Cool. All right, let's see if how's any lucky. Hamoar is this, yep. This is a uh, Tauros, cool. Whoa there, Tauros! How you doing? I've got an idea. How about I set you up so you can ride my Tauros whenever you'd like? No reason why he should get to enjoy the island. He shouldn't get to enjoy the island challenge too. Moar. Wait, do we get him? I'll take care of all the little things you need in order to ride a Pokemon zebra. Oh really? We can something here. We obtained the ride pager. Um, why don't you have a hop on then? Sure. Um, so we're hopping on Tauros. It's a little scary. Hey Tauros, I got a thing of a jig. Oh, whoa, what is this thing? We got a helmet on, we look so dorky. I feel so sort of feel bad, like Tauros looks like he's having fun, but it looks mad uncomfortable. And the world looks a bit different from atop of Mighty Tauros, huh? See, Zebra. Here in Alola, our Pokemon lend us their strength and let us ride about on them. Let me explain some of the gear I have for you. Your Ride Pager is a tool that lets you, you summon a ride Pokemon. According to the instructions, you need only to press the Y button to turn on your Ride Pager. Use the B button to dash. And your riding wear will be the special outfit you wear when riding Pokemon. Have a little romp around Alola with Tauros here and I'm sure you'll be charmed by him. When you use your ride pager, ride Pokemon will kindly come running to help you where, whenever you may be, or wherever. I was right the first time. Okay, congratulations, Zebra. Also, her name's, uh, his name, his name is actually a Lima. I Googled it. I don't know why people were correcting me and saying it was L-L-I-M-A. I looked on the, the wiki, like several different wiki pages. They all said I-L-I-M-A, so I don't know who's right anymore. Your performance has been a delight ever since I first laid eyes on you at the trainer school. I'm amazed that you won without even using your Z power. Oh, I know. Why not stop by the Alola Photo Club for a commemorative photo? But Toros, you can be down to Haloe City in no time at all. Sure. Very well then, off on your island challenge you go. May the future bring you happiness. Cool, so we're gonna go have a photo shoot. With a little help from Toro Zebra, you'll be able to smash right through those big rocks on Route 1. Really? Okay, so he can do that, so it's different in this game. All right, I got a little something for you, Dune. So we got tons of places we can go with that. You obtain TM54 False Swipe. You open up the TM's ball, got to put it in there. False Swipe is a move that will leave your opponent with one HP when you attack. Keep on catching more and more Pokemon yet, and let Rotom learn all about it. So I guess we use that, and then we can catch whatever Pokemon 
It is because they're at one HP. But first, you've got to let your mom know what you're up to. <laughs> when you're done with that, head down to the marina and in Ho Holy City. Oh yeah. Oh, if you're heading down to Holy City, you should uh, totally check out the shopping mall. And the Lola Photo Club, photo club too. We did all that besides the photo club. What do you mean? You. You know, that the one Lima mentioned, he totally had the right idea. You should go to the Alola Photo Club and take a special photo to remember clearing your first grandchild. Good thinking, Hal. And once you finish your grandchild, you'll be doing the same thing, yeah? Huh? <laughs> I sure hope so, but first, come on, Tutun. Don't get too easy on me now. Oh, they get the battle now. Okay, good luck. I don't know if you'll need it or not. You do have Rowlet, so you should be fine. You're all getting so strong already, yeah. I can't wait to see how much more you'll grow. All right, time to get to the boat ready. Or, the boat ready. Lydia, are you gonna help me clean it? A boat, hmm, oh, for the next island. Cool. Okay, so lots of awesome stuff done in today's episode of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. In the next episode, we'll do more, but for right now, like I said, thank you so much for watching today's episode of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Trial, so now you've watched to the end and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.